Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having an awesome day so far. Just recently I started an Instagram page for my channel, so if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here on the screen somewhere for you guys. You are down in the description below. So what we're going to be doing today on the first gen is um, turn up the fuel screw a little bit. So what we have here is this um, little down and behind here, right? This little deal here, right there, it covers the screw end with a nut that holds the screw from moving. And we're gonna have to pull that, it's like a safety thing or like an anti-tamper cap. So we're gonna have to pull that cap off of there so we can get down in there to turn the screw. So I'm gonna start doing that here. And right there it is, all mangled up from messing It's actually not too terrible bad. It is a little bit of a struggle. It'd be a little easier if it if the if the pump was off the truck. But I mean, that's not worth the time it takes to pull the pump off. So we're gonna start messing with the screw a little bit. Let me let me show you guys exactly what. Where the, what the screw looks like so once you have it off here's your right here is your AFC um, boost line coming off the head there and then down behind that you can't kind of it's, here's the screw right here fingers on it there's a screw head then yeah and there's a it's really hard to see here um, then there is a uh, if this camera would focus, come on. And th then there's a set nut behind that, so I'm going to break the set, the nut loose, and turn that one and a half turns in. So there's different ways of doing it, but that's the way I'm going to be doing it. So, yeah, and I have... Very, and it, you can do it running, you don't have to, but here I have my board and to block the turbo off, I have my intake pulled off, I have my board here. So if the truck starts running away, I can kill it. So there's different ways of doing it, different, different people say have different ways. Um, I've had different guys tell me different ways, but there's the one way I'm going to do it is just Turn it, turning it in one and a half turns and the other way is just turning it in until the engine starts to run away back it off about a half or a quarter of a turn it just depends That took a bit longer than I was intending. What actually happened is, actually happened, I did nothing actually happened, but actually I forgot something is what actually happened. So there's this little locking deal that goes, whoops, that goes over, come on. Focus, it's a little locking, you can see it's kind of a little puzzle piece looking deal there. And it goes over the screw, and it holds the screw in place. And that this actually, I've seen different people do it different. Some people um, take and pry it apart and pull it off. I was actually able to take a pliers and go in there and actually just spin it and um, 
take it off that way and just thread it off. So it was tight enough on there, so it just threaded off part way, and then I was able to get a screwdriver in there and pry it off the rest of the way. So now we're actually ready to turn the fuel up now. Well, now that we got everything out of the way, now we can actually get right to the screw and get it turned up. Unplug the shut off so noise. Sorry for the poor lighting here. Let me turn my. There we go. That's still not too good. But um, we got it done. I'm gonna take the truck for a quick drive. It's dark out here. Hate time change. It's only like 5:30, I think. Yeah, something like that. But um, yeah, about 5:30. And um, so I got it done. Got everything. It's all good. Had a little issue there. I didn't um, uh, connect the uh, the shutoff solenoid. I had unplugged it accidentally when I was doing it. So um, if your truck doesn't start, that's probably what's wrong. So like you saw, I had my dad stand there with a two by four. Actually, it was a two by six. But anyhow, um, to just just to make sure that the truck doesn't run away if I had adjusted it too far. So um, yeah, we're gonna. Go take it for a quick spin here. It's not much for you guys to see, but um, I might do a clip later on of a day uh, in the daylight where y'all can see it a little better. So um, I'll give you a little bit of feedback once I'm done. And so let's go take this thing for a drive. It's idling a bit higher than it had earlier. So. guys next morning here um, got the it's a little chilly it's not that terrible cold it's actually like only like 40 degrees so I decided to kind of do a little like a two-part video here because last evening I didn't want to leave you guys hanging in the dark so what I'm gonna do is I'm letting the truck warm up right now we need to run to town grab some stuff and I'm gonna give you a little bit of in cab footage of like smoke output and that sort of thing so let it warm up for a few minutes and then we're gonna take it for a ride so now we got it running for a few minutes and we're gonna take it for a got her under town like I said earlier and we're gonna see how she does I drove it a little bit last night but I couldn't really see in the dark so uh oh this window's kind of fogged up
So guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here on the screen. And I'll also put it down in the description below. And um, on the first gen, we will be doing a few, we're going to be fine-tuning the uh, um, fuel adjustment a little bit more. Probably going to turn it up just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do a few other things for the next video or two. Um, and we also have some other stuff coming, not too, not great big stuff, but some more things coming. So, I'll see you guys next time.